for today's adventure. We're starting here. And we're going up there. Let's get going. There are a couple of clicks into his little travels today. And we've got to uh, the signal box at Bleemore. And then, it's the one there. And up there. Let's crack on. Oh, we found some of the white stuff. Unfortunately, it's mixed with some dark clouds. That seems to be coming this way. Oh, we're not so far to go now, maybe a mile, mile and a half, something like that. Uh, gonna head for the Tarns, so one side Tarns, but uh, a mile from the, the summit so it's up onto the ridge and then we'll be taking a right rather than a left hopefully find somewhere a bit sheltered from the wind just having a, a quick stop at this little um, I don't know natural seating area before we uh, hit the ridge another I think it's not only probably about 150 foot up there but it's pretty still now, I'm expecting a bit more wind. I'm sure it'll be windier when we get to the top. But not a bad view from here. So we're inside there. And you got Ingleborough over there. And Pennygent's over there. Bit of water over there, and I uh, don't know if we can make it out on, on the screen, but the far bit of water is actually one of the Wernside Tarns. Let's wander through this white stuff and find somewhere to pitch up. Uh, just below this little ridge looks like it might be okay but we'll go a little bit further on see if there's something that's a bit better sheltered I'm expecting maybe up to 40 45 mile an hour wind gusts later on tonight so we need to get as sheltered a pitch as possible Is that for a level pitch? Yeah. I think that might end up like a Tarzan's quicksand and engulf me in the night. So, yeah, I think this is good. Tell the wind direction from the the grass that's blown, so it should be straightforward to pitch. Right, first things first, bag off, go and get some water. Oh, that water looks pretty clean. Get a few litres of that, and then uh, head back to the tent. Well, we're pitched up. Just need to uh, empty the rucksack now and get in there and it looks like the weather's sort of closing in on me now and the wind's picking up. I think it'll be a lot of tent time tonight but that'll be the view in the morning I wake up to. It's all good. Alright I'll bring you back when I'm inside and got a brew on and a bit warmer.
of tea. Uh, Kremit pasta. It's bloody good. I think I overwatered it though. It definitely went above the, the fill line, which is there. Which I only noticed when I was actually eating it. Brews about a third drunk. And then for treats, one in here. A packet of uh, minstrels. I've got some Pringles, some bread sausage rolls, and some ice buns. Tents up and billowing a bit, the wind's picked up. Right. Tucked up in my sleeping bag now, it's about 9.30. According to the weather forecast, there should be 45 mile an hour gusts going on right now. And nothing of the sort. Getting, it's a steady breeze. Um, what have we got? Let me make that out. I'm listening to uh, Tom Jolly's latest audio book, The Downhill Hiking Club. It'll be apparent for tomorrow. I wandered my way back down to Ribble Viaduct to get back. Um, but yeah, fed, watered, just been out for a pee, pretty cold out there and the sky ain't clearing so I don't think there's been any stargazing tonight. Uh, I'll see you later on. Well it's one o'clock in the morning, uh, the wind's picked up a bit. Uh, I've had a kit. Fairly wet. Uh, and chilly out there. Nice and warm in the tent though. Oh, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. But the sun's trying to get through. So it's time for me to make a brew. And then start packing up. that thing. Blue sky. And the sun's really trying to break out. I'm hoping between the, the sun and the, the wind it'll take some of the, the damp off the tank because it's uh, pretty wet through outside. But it's looking like I'm going to have a nice pleasant walk down. Alright, let's get everything packed away. up now just tend to roll away. Now I've quite a fight in this uh, wind getting that down there ripping it. And a bit of cloud cover now and some blue sky to the side of that. So ain't looking particularly fine today. Uh, I'll be walking up to there's a line going sort of almost horizontal. I'll be walking up to about that point and then scooting sort of back on myself to get back down to Ribble Viaduct. And I'll bring you back when we're on his way. Leave no trace shot. And now a bit of the, the snow has thawed. There's a, a pile of sheep shit right at the end of the tent. I didn't notice when I was pitching up. But hey ho, it's time to go. Let's go this way. Truly. Alright, let's get off this hill, it's getting windy and cold now. That's the way we're going. Oh, 
Oh, we're not so far from Ribled now on the way back. Not a bad view to be walking back into, is it? Wind picked up a lot today. It was forecast to be a lot windier. But this is a great little stretch now, knowing I'll soon be back at the van. Hopefully the burger van will be there and I can have a Bruna, a bacon sarnie. Yes, the dice is going well. Almost back now. Clear the viaduct. Well, I don't think the van's there. Damn, I'm really looking forward to it though. Thank you.